Hey everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in and watching this. Uh, for my latest purchase, we picked up the iCamper SkyCamp 2.0 Mini for the top of the Toyota Tacoma. Um, after a lot of uh, research online and um, dimensionally, I think it worked out best. We would have ideally liked it not quite as wide as it sits a little wider than the Sherpa rack on the top of the truck, but it is really a nice quality unit. It doesn't really have any road noise on the highway at all. And uh, we put it up there and decided a nice basic camping trip was gonna be great to break it in and try it out. Uh, so as far as the installation goes, um, I did this all by myself. I have a forklift which made it quite a bit easier. I think it's only around 120 or 130 pounds. Uh, it's not bad, but extremely awkward with one person. But the the trick really is mounting it to that to that roof rack, that Sherpa rack, or any one of these roof racks that uses 8020 aluminum. Um, there's not a lot of clearance in there, as you saw. I had to remove that front fairing off of the the front of the rack just to get my hand in there. And using some two by fours and everything, uh, we just slid that those those uh, really nice brackets right underneath there uh, the brackets are very impressive the all the connection points are really well made very strong and robust but getting your hand in there if my arm was any fatter I uh, definitely would not have been able to do it and the supplied uh, allen keys the hex keys that go in there they're definitely too big to make the rotation so I had to grab a couple other uh, shorter allen wrenches or I could possibly use a long one uh, that two and three quarters is what was left on each side to balance it off on each side. And as you can see, I'm trying all different hex keys in here to try to get this thing tight. Uh, I'm probably going to come up with a better method to do this, but it is really tight overall. I did get it in there. It's really solid, really sound. Put that front fairing back on there. Um, that process definitely took a little longer. But as you can see, this is the iCamper hex key that came with it. I ended up using this one right here and I tried one of these T-handle. It is a six millimeter hex and um, you could try a couple of them, but just a standard regular hex key worked best. As you can see, it mounted up nice. A uh, little bit more of an overhang on the size that I wanted, but it doesn't look bad. And it is, uh, is really a well-made unit. Like I said, uh, the brack, this is the first time opening it. Uh, unlatched those uh, stainless wires and, and pulled this thing right open. It worked really well. I was very impressed having never done it before. And uh, take a look at the inside of it here. It's really quite roomy and it's just so sharp looking, well made. You could sit up on the inside, have the screens, the plastic covering over the window tents. And as you can see, those bars hold up the rain awnings. It poured this weekend and there was no rain in the tent. Um, in the sun, it does get a little hot. Next time we're bringing a fan for sure, but uh, overall this thing is a fantastic quality. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks a lot for watching. See you on the next one.